Okay, in this scanning for network, we are using what is known as GFI LandGuard. Happens to be that our version happens to be the 2012 version. All right, most of our tools are already prepped for us in module three. Vulnerability scanning tools, and we are using GFI LandGuard. Go ahead and install it. You may get a few UAC pop-ups, that's okay. This happens to be an older version, but that is all right. If you're not sure to get it, you can get it from, oh, that is not what I want. All right, never mind the location where you would normally get, oh, you know what? GFI. And this is where you'll be downloading it. GFI. <laughs> and again, normally you want to be using a newer tool. Just happens to be that my license is, is only for 2012. And my setup is almost complete. Go ahead and agree to the user license agreements because most of the time it's we have to. We are not using a specific license key. That is okay for now. You may get prompted for the actual attended service credentials because it does not like a normal password because in my machine it's blank. I'm going to click on no. Normally you'd be installing it with credentials, but my user doesn't have any. And that is okay for this tutorial. Installation shouldn't take too, too long. And let's go ahead and launch our EFI land guard attack. We're going to use the uh, Free evaluation, so register for free evaluation. Okay, so it turns out that it did not like the 2012 version. So I downloaded the 2015 version, and I'm going through the installation now. Okay, the installation or the upgrade to 2015 only took a few minutes. And again, make sure to register for your free evaluation. I'm actually going to do my product key, and that's because I have my demo license already. Okay, so I went ahead and entered my demo license key. So I'm restricted to what I can do specifically. I can only do 25 nodes, I only have it for 30 days, and so forth. So I want to continue my evaluation. And the nice thing is this is some type of auditing tool. So let's go ahead and launch a scan. I have a few other servers that are online. This uh, 192.168L, this guy right here is me. Okay, so I'm gonna start over one more time because I wanted to make sure I could have some of my host powered on. So I'm gonna launch a scan. And actually, I'm going to scan again. Scan target. We can actually uh, look for specific rules. We can do uh, different types of scans, like a full scan or a partial scan or vulnerabilities or all that good stuff. So we're also set credentials depending. So I'm going to start my scan one more time. Notice my address changed. I needed to be on the 10 network. And this can take some time. So this one you have to be very patient with. So as the scan is going, I get things like a response time is good. 
my little red X over here. And that just means, hey, something's weird. And so I'm just going to let it finish. So my vulnerability level is high. And that is because I have seven open ports. I have eight USB devices. But why is it high? Why do I have so many errors? We can actually get the plus sign next to it. And we can actually drill down. Vulnerabilities. We have two major ones. Auto login is, is a big one. And we're, we have a fax cover page vulnerability. In the medium section, we have plenty of oval scores that tell you about the different types of vulnerabilities that we are vulnerable to. And low uh, vulnerabilities, again, same thing. Now let's go and look at the network and software audit. We can see open ports. Port 135, port 139, port 445. And then we can even see what UDP ports are open. And the nice thing about this is we can see if they're active, if they're responding. We could look at hardware and storage, but it gives us an overview of our individual machine. We can also look at domains. It doesn't always have to be a local host. I'm going to try scanning my server 2012 machine. These scans may take a little while. So with that, we just kind of have to be patient. And after a few minutes, it actually did a remote scan on this guy. And I don't get a vulnerability level. I did get a few errors. A lot of the time, uh, access is denied. Because I didn't do credentials or anything. But I was able to see what type of ports were open. And again, 135, 139, 445. I was able to get some things like uh, its work group and its Mac. So, nice little tool to get some detailed information. Let's go ahead and navigate the dashboard. And the nice thing is, when you do this as a centralized monitoring tool, you get a way overview of all of the computers. So with this, you can see actually seeing the health of your network. And it is a nice, some type of uh, centralized monitoring software. This is just one of many. All right, thank you.